from Sobeys. This is Trivi from Culture Sobeys. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing like the different Biore products. I recently received this Biore care package and it contained the latest product from Biore. But I have been and the latest product from Biore. So if this is something that you'd want to see, please keep watching. Alright, so this box actually contains Biore's latest products. These are the Biore Bright Up Base UV or Biore Oil Control Base UV. So it's basically their makeup base and SPF in one. And since I've been like a super fan of Biore, this is not a sponsored post. I've been buying their products since I got to know them. And in here, I also included like other Biore products that I've used or have been using. Okay, so I've been using these and I recently purchased this. And I will give you like a rundown on their difference, what I like and don't like about each product, and why I tend to stick to which product. And I did give this a try yesterday. So I'll be giving you like my bits about this but the main review and comparison of this between my foundation will be uploaded on my IGTV so don't forget to follow my Instagram account I'll put it down here so I am also creating content for IGTV which is totally separate from my content here on YouTube so that it won't be redundant and if you're interested to get to know more about this latest product, just head over to my Instagram account. But for today, I'll be sharing with you the different Biore facial sunscreen that I've been using, that I like, and what are the other things that I don't really like in some of these products, okay? So, since these are just the same, this one is the brightening variant, this is the oil control variant. I tend to go with the oil control variant. I don't really like brightening because I'm not really obsessed. On getting white I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with how my color looks and I feel like brightening products normally give you a white cast and I don't like that so I'll probably reserve this for my sister okay so just a quick summary of what this product is it's basically a sweat resistant used on its own or as a makeup base and it has SPF 50 PA++ which means it can protect you from UVA which is for aging and UVB which is for skin burning so it's really good so the pink one or the brightening UV base is it can conceal your pores and brightens dull skin it gives you a radiant smooth coverage without cakey feeling while this blue also conceals your pores absorbs excess sebum and gives you that matte smooth coverage so I was able to try this yesterday and I think that it's a good um, base not really sure how it goes compared with my foundation so I'll put it up in another video through my IGTV as I've said earlier but right now I will be comparing these four Biore facial sunscreen products okay okay so I started becoming a fan of Biore when I first met them through this product so this is their Biore UV face milk it's still SPF 50 I think most of their products are maintained at SPF 50 in the recent research you don't really have to use SPF 100 110 you don't really have to use that SPF 30 to 50 is actually enough for daily use but the key here is that you have to reapply often okay so there's no point of using SPF 100 or 110 if you're gonna be applying it only in the morning and you expect it to last you for the rest of the like full 8 to 12 hours it doesn't make make sense you have to reapply like maybe four hours down the line or every two hours I'm really not sure of the calculation but it's something like that and I have been using this and I've been loving this product since I first got to know them that was like maybe two or three years ago and since this can get a little expensive this is about 400 plus or 500 plus I tend to grab this I also like this so this is their Biore UV perfect nail the consistency of these two products is the same so I like to use them interchangeably but the 
this is a bigger bottle so I tend to grab this more but this is usually out of stock like in small Watson's outlets you can't really find this so that's a sad thing about this but I really really love this right now I'm using this I have another, these are empties I'm about to throw them but I wanted to create this video that's why I kept them but right now I'm using this one this is part of my kit this is a previous empty bottle that I'm about to throw after this video and while searching for these because sometimes both of them are out of stock I decided to try this because this is way way cheaper these two would go about 500 to 400 plus for that small size and this would be I think cheaper this is cheaper and this comes in a much bigger size but I don't really like this that's why it's still full it's barely used I don't feel that this is suitable for your face it's a little tacky and thick these two are really like lightweight matte easily absorbed by the skin it doesn't give you that icky smelly regular sunscreen feeling that's why I really love these two for daily use I feel that it doesn't clog my pores I feel that it sits well behind my makeup so I really really love these but this is different this is something that I feel that is more suitable for your body and so I tend to use this for my arms especially when you are expecting to be in a long car ride I suggest you put this in your car and reapply all throughout the day and finally this is their latest product I was able to give this a try yesterday and I feel that this is more thick than these two so I'll try to like squeeze if there's anything left there's none it's really like no more I'll try this one Oh, there's one but oh, there's a very very little oh there there you go okay so so this is the milk you see it's very thin it's very runny let's just put it on my neck so let's not waste it <laughs> there it's easily absorbed by the skin it dries matte virtually scentless and it's powdery that's why I really love it it won't give you that sticky feeling especially when you're in Manila it's hot and humid right now it's raining it's so humid it's really perfect for Manila weather oh this is a little messy but I like using it on my oh there you go so this one is a little thick it's like glue on um, there so it's I feel like this is perfect for the body see so you just spread it out it's not really nice for the face there's that slick feeling like your regular sunscreen but it doesn't have that annoying smell so I feel that this is okay for your body for your arms for your legs and this one I'll give you a little like okay so there you go a little okay so there you go and it's very thick unlike the milk it's runny so this one is not but it's lightweight so it's a little more viscous it has a little tackiness in it as it performs as your base it's very sheer coverage is not that like your foundation but it's also scentless although i like these would have lighter like more neutral scent this one i still can smell something but there you go it's completely dry it's matte it's not sticky this one is a little sticky that's why I don't like using this for my face. I feel that it clogs my pores. I feel that it causes blackheads. That's why I don't like it on my face. And right now, it's still sticky. While this one, it's dry. No, no stickiness. No stickiness, but this one, you can feel it. It's a little sticky. So there you go. I would rather stick with these. These would still be my favorite. You can try this because it effectively controls your oil. 
I wore this yesterday for about 12 hours and at the end of the day my skin is not hulas my skin is not goopy or you know I didn't look haggard I only used this in fact yesterday I was so lazy to put on makeup I just used this all over my face put on some lipstick and I went out and I feel that I look decent so if like during the rainy days everybody gets lazy to put on a full face makeup you can grab this use it on its own and remember even during rainy days you have to put on sunscreen so I think that this is perfect it cuts down having to apply your sunscreen plus another makeup base because this Bior is a trusted brand for facial sunscreen so there you go guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video with me comparing these biore facial products if you're like in a crossroad whether which product that you should grab and try i would highly recommend for you to get any of these there's also a pink version of this the brightening one but as i've said earlier i don't really like brightening products i'm pretty much happy with how my skin tone is um, if you're into that, you can get that. And then while this also has its brightening variant, I think that gives you a more, I guess, luminous brightening glow. This one is more matte. I tend to like matte. But what I like about this is that it doesn't dry your skin. It doesn't make you look old. Like with other matting, like with other matte or oil controlling products do. This is pretty much okay. It sits well on my skin. I use it as is. I'm sure it's gonna look great with makeup on, but I'll try that on my IGTV video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, I guess that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You say you got a man. Girl, he ain't me. And if he ain't me, you ain't got a man. You tell me he's reckless, you say that he's selfish You know that I'm jealous, you're getting all of your love You just don't get enough, girl, you need a real man yeah. Hanging out the back